Hello everyone and welcome back. So where we last left off together in Rabbit's playthrough of Jade Cocoon, story of the Tamamayu, we thought we were going to be going to a festival to hang out with Mabu and some other douchebag named like Kalmar or something. And there was just this humongous swarm of I think they're called Oni Boo Boo or something really weird like that, but basically they are the locusts of the apocalypse, according to Priestess Garai. So either way you want to look at it, there was some shit that went down and none of it was good. So now we are dreamy again and dealing with this asshat dream man who thinks that, I guess, he can just come and push us around, but I kicked that last monster's ass, so hopefully we will persevere, but probably not. We'll just have to see how this goes. So yeah, more than likely we're going to get our asses kicked yet again. And leave it to me, as soon as I start recording, someone is calling my cell phone, which, by the way, I did not mention this to you guys. I finally caved in and got an iPhone, so I'm feeling really with the times now. I was probably the only person I know in my age group who was still rocking a super ghetto cell phone, but... Not any longer, I'm now with it. But, oh no, this minion is, yeah, too strong for us, so... Fuck you, Dream Man, like, I don't understand why this guy keeps fucking with us. Ha! <laughs> Beaten already! And you call yourself a cocoon master! Suck my dick. You are nothing but the son of a coward! <laughs> and Levon seriously has some really weird dreams. I don't think I've ever had these types of visions or dreams Wait. where someone is that brutal and mean to me, but Blue is the beast of righteousness. White is the beast of fate, blue is the beast of righteousness. Interesting. Not sure where they're going with that, but interesting nonetheless. Wake up. Oh god, this is deja vu. <laughs> Isn't this how she woke us up last time? You cried out in your sleep last night. Yeah, this sounds you exactly right? like what you said to me yesterday, Mom. What are and you talking about? From this day forward, you are the cocoon master of Cyrus. You must be strong. Now, you had better head over to Mother Garai's house. Mabu is probably waiting for you there, too. That alone is reason enough for me to not go straight there. Normally, I would dick around and... S oh, I guess I can't. They're gonna Ooh. just automatically send me there, so... finally come by, have you? I have something I want to give you right away. Have a seat right here. Mabu's clothes are so adorable, though. Soon, you will enter the forest as a cocoon master. The forest entrance. There are four gates through the divine barrier. Okay. To pass through them, you must have the right key. One of them is here in Cyrus. It is the key to the Beetle Gate. Louis the Watch. Oh no! Fuck this kid. Once you get the key from Louis, you must go deep into the Beetle Forest. Another cocoon master lives there. People call him the Blue Ah, Cocoon. okay. His name is Chorus, and he's a very capable man. What is he capable of? Finding the Calibus Herb. I guess we'll important. find out. But first, you must learn to fend for yourself. No doubt there is much you can learn from him, for he too is a Cocoon Master. In the meantime, I have gathered what you will need for your journey. If you need something else, you should go to the town shop. Wounds can only be healed by mugwort herbs. Make sure you have enough. That is good to know. Oh, and do not forget to arm yourself. When your empty cocoons run out, you can get more from Marble. Interesting, okay. Oh, jeez, oh, there's so much information. Very important. This is the flute of capture. 
The sound of this flute serves both to imprison and summon All right. minions. So this is like our Pokeball. Your father, Riquettes, entrusted it to me. A fateful meeting it was. Ah, but perhaps some other time I will tell you all about it. All right, sweet. So I guess we have to manually arm Levant here. So now you're going into the forest. I don't know why, but I'm a little worried. But if worse comes to worse, you can always use the earring of the hunter to return home safely. All right, is that it? Do you have anything else for me, Grandma? I've already spoken with Louie. Now, go to the watchtower and get the key to the beetle gate. Oh, God. I don't want to deal with this kid. the entrance, you will find the divine barrier gate. And then on to the beetle forest. Godspeed to you. Okay, well. There's a safe point. I'm gonna mosey on over here and... Damn it, I always hit the wrong button. I promise, guys, it's not just me. I really think that the setup or the settings for the controls are so odd for this game, especially compared to some of the other PSX titles. So hopefully I will get used to that. Because if you hit triangle, it lets you run forward, but you can also, on your little D-pad, I guess is what it's called, directional pad, if you just hold the up button, you go forward as well. So it's kind of odd. And then instead of triangle being your menu button, it's the O button, which is odd because usually the O button is how you cancel things, but in this game, it's the triangle how you quit menu. So I don't know, really odd, but okay. So anyway, mugworts heal us. Oh, I can use O to view the descriptions. I don't need to read that. What the fuck does this do? Okay, so it heals poison. All right. And I can rearrange with the box. And I think she already equipped my shit. Oh no, here we go. She gave me a dagger. Oh, okay, I see. So if I equip the dagger, it increases my attack, but it lowers my attack speed. So, or speed in general. Um, I think for now, I really want to go for the offensive, so I'm going to go ahead and just slap this dagger on Levant. I might change that later, and I don't have any other pieces of equipment here, so Hunter's Earring. Again, I think that that's, okay, what brings us back, and this is my Pokeball, essentially, and I guess Fireflies are the minions. Okay, so... It's pretty straightforward. Hopefully I won't do too horribly. Now I know we're supposed to go to Louie, but... Wait a sec. Fuck what, Mabu? Here. This is a ring given to me by the Nagi chieftain when I was born. It's very special to me. I should have given it to you before, but I was too embarrassed. I think you should be more embarrassed about your when outbursts ring, with Louie. Somehow I feel at peace. I hope it helps you too. Well, take care, okay? Tears of Reese. That sounds sad, not peaceful. Um. Oh, it's really nothing, but. I'll be thinking about you. Ugh. Go back inside, Mabu. Okay, so this is kind of set up a little bit how, well, if you guys watched my most recent Let's Play, it was a Tenchi Muyo game hen, and there's not really a lot of room to just run around physically. You have to kind of just click through the menu, and it'll take you to whatever destination you please. I don't know where everything is. Um, I don't know if it's really necessary for us to explore, but... I am still going to go ahead and do that, so I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to go back home first because mom might have something to give to us. I probably really shouldn't go to all these places, but I'm a very meticulous gamer and I like to make sure that I'm not missing anything critical as long as I can fucking walk straight, like holy shit. Do you have something for me, mom? 
Are you doing all right? Uh, yes. Being a cocoon master is tough, but you keep at it. I can teach you many things in place of your father. Oh, okay, so maybe... Um... Actually, I'm not really too worried about these things, but that's still good to know. Take care. I will always be praying for you. His mom is so sweet. Oh my gosh. Alright, come on. Let's go, Levant. Well, that was a quick pit stop. We were just at Garize. I don't know what the blacksmith is for, so let's check it out just to rule out all these different areas. I imagine there's probably a way to learn about where you're supposed to go and what all is available, but no harm in just physically doing it ourselves. Yeah, Jacko? Is that his name? Huh? What is it? If you're looking for Kelbar, he's not here. This is just great. Where can he be running off to now? Come back some other time if it's a strong weapon you want. Okay, so I can buy weapons from you? so long since I made a weapon for a Kaboom Master. But even if you had one, would you know how to use it? Fuck you! I have a dagger! Really, he's so unfriendly, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Ada. <laughs> his hands are skilled, but his tongue is not. Our son will never find a good bride with a father like you. I think Ada's a little bit They're more both scary. They're so stubborn. Aren't you even listening to me? Ooh, okay. I think uh, we're just gonna get the fuck out of here. All right. So, note to self: no longer hang out with Kelmar. Mom is nuts. Okay, so here's the shop where I guess we can buy more mugwort shit and... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why does everyone look so crazy in this village? Oh, does she not have any voice acting? That's disappointing. I imagine she has a lot to say. Okay, anyway. Um, we already got three, but I have plenty of money, so I might buy one more. Shab liquor. What does this do? Uh. Oh. That's kind of expensive, but I'll go ahead and buy one. I imagine we'll probably find these things later in the forest, but I'm really not too worried about it. And I do want like two of the. Maybe I'll get three. All right, and that's all that's available. So. Who's her boy? Oh my goodness. This village is full of insane people. Okay, Chief's Estate. Don't worry, guys. We'll get to Louis soon enough. Wow. The Chieftain lives in this gigantic place, and the rest of us are, like, in tiny hun huts. What an asshole. Oh, wow. Why are there so many people sleeping here? Oh, my goodness. I cannot even walk. These controls are so bad. Oh, that's kind of, all right, well, I'll probably have to come back here later. Now I feel kind of bad for insulting the chieftain. I thought he was just chilling. Oh, what's up, Mario? Fuck you, I'm the cocoon master, jeez. Okay, okay, it looks like the game probably wants us to just make our way to Louis. Oh, there's a silk mill. And who are these fucking people? Like, holy crap. Okay, well, we'll just go in order. I'm going to check out the silk mill, and then we will go to the watchtower where Louis is chilling. I always just get so paranoid that I'm going to miss something <laughs> critical, and I cannot even, like, walk straight. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Talk to me, please, so I don't have to walk anymore. Okay, so? The fuck? Wow, okay, so. I take it these people are not our friends. <laughs> that old woman. These little pictures, they kill me. 
All right, well, onward we go. I'm sure you guys are like, oh my god, Rabbit. Please, just go find Louie. All right. Let's hear what I he has to say. But I don't like any of it. I mean, you of all people. Just because Rakets is your dad. Fuck you. You'll just go into the forest and get eaten by monsters. Is your flute really that powerful? That's so lame. Ha. I'll go get the calabash myself. Oh, please, Louie. Right here. Help yourself. No can do, little guy. Whoa. Oh, it's Kelmar. I know how you feel, Louie, but you can't go. You can seek your revenge at some other time. Kelmar is like a very Besides, calming and soothing voice. You know how voice. scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. Well, I feel kind of bad for Louie. Alright, are you gonna give me the fucking key, or like what? Fine. Kelmar is right. You can go do it. Damn right. Here's the beetle key. The chief gave it to me to look after. With it lies the fate of the village. Use it to enter the beetle gate. And why does Louie live here by himself? He has to be like, what, ten? deep inside the forest. He's a powerful cocoon master, and he might know something about that herb. All right, the beetle key. All right, is that it? Now what? Get out of here before I change my mind. Jeez, this kid is so rude. Look, try to understand how he feels. You know, I use the default name. Ever since his parents were killed in the forest, all oh, he's ever shit. thought about is slaying those monsters. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. He may be cocky, but in his own way, he's just trying to be a man. But he'll never be half the man you are, Kelmar. Okay. We have the beetle key. And this is perfect timing because we are actually a little bit over time. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here. And when we come back together, guys, we are going to make our way to the forest and utilize this awesome beetle key to go and see the, bl the blue cocoon master. Wow, really fumbled my words there. The blah, 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 blah. Yes, the blue cocoon master. So I will see you guys momentarily. I am your host Rabbit and this is my playthrough of Jade Cocoon Story of the Tamamayu. See you in a sec guys.